Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathLog. This lesson is equivalent ratios and graphs. So this is uh, lesson 4.8 in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. So I'd take you to that, but I've taken to that several times. So anyways, this is a sixth grade lesson. So here's our, um, our essential question. How can we, uh, uh, we use a graph to represent ratios? Okay, so here's uh, an example. So a car travels at a rate of 50 miles per hour. So use equivalent ratios. Remember, ratios are a form of a fraction, okay? Uh, to graph the distance the car travels over time. So graph time on the x-axis and distance on the y-axis. Okay, so what words in this problem tells us uh, the unit rate? Well, right here it says 50 miles per hour. So per one hour. So That'll tell us our unit rate right there, okay? So we're going to go ahead and write and graph equivalent ratios, okay? So use the unit rate to write an equivalent ratios, okay? So remember, it's 50 miles per hour, so 50 miles for one hour. That's our unit ratio right there, okay? So now we're going to write equivalent ratios, okay? So we're going to multiply 50 times 2 and then multiply 1 times 2, okay? 50 times 2 is 100, and then 1 times 2 is, is uh, 2. Okay, so 50 miles in, in 1 hour is the same as 100 miles in 2 hours. Okay, so if we, we just doubled both of those right there. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and complete this table of equivalent ratios right here. Okay, so this is uh, 50 for every 1 hour, so 50 miles per hour, and then 100 miles per 2 hours we got over here. Okay, so this is if we just add another 50 right here, then we added another hour right here. So 150 for every three hours, and then add another 50 right here is 200. So we'll add another hour right here. So 200 every four hours. And finally, add another 50 is uh, 250 every five uh, hours right here. And if you notice right here, this number times 50 equals this number right here. Five times 50 is, 20, is 250. 3 times 50 is 150. 2 times 50, okay, so they're all multiples of 50. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use an ordered pair to represent each ratio in the table. So we're going to let x equal, uh, the x coordinate represent the times. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 representing our x coordinates. And then the y coordinates are going to be these uh, distances right here in miles, the 50, 100, 150, 200 and 250. And remember, you guys, ordered pairs are always in alphabetical order. So X always comes first and Y always comes second because X comes before Y in the alphabet. Okay, so this is going to be represented as 1, 50 right there. So that ratio of 50 miles per one hour, we're going to represent it. Remember, they wanted us to put the X coordinate as the hours. So the hours are downstairs, so we're going to put the X coordinate first. So 1, 50. Okay, so 1, 50. All right, let's do that with the other ones here. Okay, so this is 1, 50. This is going to be 2 comma 100 right there, okay? This one's, um, let's put the 100 in there, okay? So this one's going to be 3 comma 150, so that's what goes right here. This will be 4 comma 200, and finally 5 uh, comma 250 right there, okay? All right, so now we're going to go and use those pairs uh, to graph these, um, uh, the car's distance over the time right here, okay? So the graph represents the same relationship as the unit rate right there, okay? So for every one hour the car travels, the distance is increased by 50 miles right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph. Um, uh, this represents one hour for 50 miles. So we'll go over one and we'll go up 50, okay? So these um, squares on the bottom down here going across the horizontal horizontal row are going by ones where these ones they're going up by 50s can you see that right there here's a hundred so this must be 50 so here's 200 so here's 150 right here so here we're gonna go over 1 and up 50 so we'll put a point right there and that'll be labeled 1 comma 50 right there okay so we're talking about this point right here okay over 2 up 100 so we're gonna go over 2 and 100 is 2 squares, so we'll put a point right there. So there is uh, 2 comma 100. 
okay, over 3, up 150. So here's over 3, so here's 50, here's 100, here's 150, okay? So maybe you can see a pattern right there. They're, they're looking like a straight line. So here's 4, 200, and here's 5, 250, okay? Easy. All right, so identify the pattern. Okay, well, one of them is that there is a straight line. They, the ordered pairs make a line. And so for each ordered pair, the y-coordinate is always 50, times the x coordinate so this 250 uh, 5 times 250 is I'm sorry 5 times 50 is 250 4 times 50 is is 200 so maybe you can't see those what's here so 4 times 50 3 times 50 2 times 50 so that's the other part of the uh, the pattern that we're seeing there so one of the patterns is is they make a straight line right here and the other pattern is is uh, the y coordinate is always 50 times whatever the x coordinate is right there okay so later on uh, we're going to learn how to write equations but that's later okay so here's another example so during a heavy rainstorm the uh, the water at Arcade Creek rose at a steady rate of uh, for eight hours so steady means it, it, it kept rising the same amount, okay? So the graph shows the creek's uh, increase in height over time. So we're going to use the graph to complete the table of equivalent ratios. And so how many inches did the creek rise in eight hours? Okay, so here's a time down here in hours. So the title up here, is, it says um, uh, the increase in Arcade Creek. Uh, of the height right here and over here here it is the increase in height in inches right here so this is uh, inches right here down here uh, this is the time in hours so this would be six hours see this would be six hours and it raised 18 inches right there okay all right so it says complete this table right here okay so let's slide that up right there okay all right all right so think on the graph the x coordinate represents okay so here's the x coordinate it represents time in hours right here okay and the y coordinate over here represents uh the river's uh, uh height that it, that, that it increases in it looks like in inches right there okay so it's always uh always good to see what the units are right there so we can we know what this graph is talking about so the ordered pair so the remember this is um the time right here so that uh, this one would go over here one okay and then notice how these squares are going there's uh how much is that well two of them make six so one of them's going to make three so this is going to be three right here and then here two of them makes to this two right here so this is one so this is one two three four five six and so on and then these are going up by threes this is three this is six this is uh, nine this is twelve and this is all in inches right there okay so the ordered pair one comma three means that after one hour uh, the river rose uh, three inches right there okay <clears throat> all right so after two hours it rose another three inches so six inches right there so after four hours now be careful this went up by four so it jumped up by two so it's easier to recognize it if we go times three so um, uh, the y coordinate right here this this uh, increase in height is times three whatever the x coordinate is so two times three equals six so four times three that's going to be twelve and you can see it right here over four it goes up to twelve right there okay all right and then uh, six so six times three is eighteen well let's see over six up to here and so it says 18 right there so 18 inches finally over eight what's eight times three well eight times three is 24 well let's check it out here's eight here's the point right here and then if we go over here yep it's at 24 right there okay so it did say complete that table so the creek rose how many inches in in eight hours it rose 24 inches in eight hours right there all right, so describe the pattern that we saw in this graph in the table. Okay, well, we don't. We it does uh, make a straight line, so we can say that it, it's making another straight line right here. But but better yet, you guys, uh, uh, the increase in the creek's height in, in inches is always three times that the number of hours right here. Okay, so this number is three times whatever this number is right there. Okay, so explain how we know that the ratios in the tables are equivalent. Okay, well, we can always reduce them, you guys. So we can write each ratio in the table as a unit ratio. So, for example, if we took this ratio, 24 inches for 8 hours, and we divided uh, the top and bottom by the same number, in this case, 
the denominator so we can get it to be a 1, so it's a unit ratio. 24 divided by 8 is 3, and then 8 divided by 8 is 1, okay? If we took this ratio right here and divided it by the denominator, whoops, that should be a 6 right there. Why did I put a 3? I thought I cleaned it all up. Well, I'm making lots of mistakes lately. Uh, if you've noticed, okay, so that should be in, uh, divided by 6, okay, and then so 18 divided by 6 is 3, and 6 divided by 6 is, is 1. If we did 12 over 4 and divided this by 4 and this by 4, it'll always give us the ratio of 3 to 1. So that's how we know that the ratios in the table are all equivalent. We can convert them all to the unit ratios, okay? All right, so Zach earns $12 per hour. Explain how we can use the equivalent ratios to draw a graph of his earnings, okay? Okay, well, we can make a table like we did in the prior examples of equivalent ratios, and then we can use that table to write ordered pairs with the X uh, coordinate representing our time and hours and the Y coordinate representing the earnings. And then so after that, we can uh, then graph those ordered pairs like that, all right? All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care, and hope you're having a great year.